Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Thanks. Okay. So welcome to the class. So happy to see you one more time. So Ben, let me see. So let's get started with our class. Uh, let me just one quick second. Real quick. Let me just go ahead and check something up here. Uh, meanwhile, Ben, uh, can you repeat? Um, hello. Meanwhile, can you tell me what did we talk about in our previous lesson? I think we're doing some tests. Okay, so we have a test in our previous class, all right? Not a test, it was a review, all right? Uh, it was a review for the test, but especially... But, uh, but especially I would like you to tell me, I would like you to tell me um, in regards of that review. So what did we talk about in this review? Do you remember the topic, the activity we did? Hello, Ben. I'm here. Okay, I was gonna ask you, do you remember the activity we did before? In the previous lesson? Let me see if I could find it for you. Shen. Oh, there's something on my computer. It says your PC is being slow by 179 broken registry items and 932 megabyte system junk. It says like that. What well, is uh? What was the problem with the computer? My PC is being slow by 179 broken registry item and 932 megabyte system junk. And uh, is that so bad then for uh, your PC? Yes. Oh, I see. So let me just share to you my screen. Uh, so we can get started with our next part that is very interesting. Okay, so can you see my screen, Ben? I can. No, I can't. Let me see here. All right. So now you may be able to. 
No, no, it's still black. Oh, I can't see it now. Amazing. Listening test 1.3. Okay. So here the here's the part number one. So we got five questions. So there we have to listen and draw lines. And there is one example. Like look at there. So look at what they are doing. So based on what they are doing, what we're gonna do here is to match or write their names and with the actions they are taking, they are doing whatever they are doing. So then you will notice that this is the right person because of the action the person is doing. Just give me a minute, just give me a moment. Let me see. Let me see here, just to make sure about something. Escape, okay. I just wanted to make sure that everything was fine there. No, I cannot see the screen, share it. Okay, that's fine, just a second. What I'm gonna do is just to open it here. Okay, now you may see it well, and you can also. You can also have the opportunity to see it working. Just one second, Banner, right? Uh, I'm just trying to download. Okay, man, now it's okay. Just one second. If I do not open it right away, what I'm gonna do is the following. So, oh, it's still a little bit. So let me just change the exercise. And meanwhile, it is loading. We can continue with this exercise so we do not lose time, okay? Mm -hmm. Meaning, I'm going to start with another exercise ahead, and then I'll be going back to the first one. Will it be okay for you? Okay. That's good. But that's pretty much the same, but just we switch back and forward. Okay, let's continue. 
Okay. Okay, look at this. So this is number two. I'm afraid this one as well will need audios because many of them, they are audio based. Let me see. Oh, okay, let me see if it just already open because that'll be audio based and then that's gonna give you like a big headache if I don't do it this way. Okay, now here it is. No worry about this. It's here. Let me just share my screen to you. One second. Here it is, here we go. Okay, look at this, listening, all right? Test uh, number one, three. Okay, five questions. Listen and draw lines. And there is one example. So we're gonna listen to this exercise, man. And then as I told you before, you will tell me who's that person or what that person is doing. Listen carefully to the information that is gonna be given. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, this okay means that you are ready. Here we go. Part one. Part one. Listen and look. Okay. There is one example. Look, Mr. Banks, my big sister took me to meet a famous photographer. That's interesting. And you've got a photo of the day. Yes. Look, the photographer had to take some pictures of some singers. And what's the photographer's name? Paul. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Which one's your sister? She's over there with the singers. Can you see her? She's brushing the girl's hair. Oh, yes. Does she work for the photographer then? Yes. Her name's Mary. She's worked there for okay. a long time. No, I said this girl, not the Two. black one. And there's Peter. He works there too. The man with the lights? Okay. No, I don't know his name. I mean the person with the newspaper. Remember, oh, yes. I see now. Remember Why later, is he giving it to the woman? Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. You're going to give me the description later. Three. Number three. And who are the singers? Are they famous too? Yes, but I don't know all their names. Only the girl on the right talked to me. And who's she? Katie. I love her big watch. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Four. Number four. And there's William. The man in the front of the picture? Yes, he's looking for something. What's he lost? It was a comb, but he found it. Oh, yes. Five. Then who's the person who's sitting down? The little boy? No, the other person. She's got a cup of tea, or coffee perhaps, in her hand. Oh, that's Jane. She's the mother of one of the singers. She came to watch. It looks very interesting there. It was. I had a great day. Now listen to part one again. Okay. One. Which one's your sister? She's over there with the singers. Can you see her? She's brushing the girl's hair. Oh, yes. 
Does she work for the photographer then? Yes, her name's Mary. She's worked there for a long time. Two. And there's Peter. He works there too. The man with the lights? No, I don't know his name. I mean the person with the newspaper. Oh, yes. I see now. Why is he giving it to the woman? I don't know. Three. And who are the singers? Are they famous too? Yes, but I don't know all their names. Only the girl on the right talked to me. And who's she? Katie. I love her big watch. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Four. And there's William. The man in the front of the picture? Yes, he's looking for something. What's he lost? It was a comb, but he found it. Oh, yes. Five. Okay. Then who's the person who's sitting down? The little boy? No, the other person. She's got a cup of tea, or coffee perhaps, in her hand. Oh, that's Jane. She's the mother of one of the singers. She came to watch. It looks very interesting there. It was. I had a great day. That is the end of part one. Okay. So, questions for you, Ben. So, uh, can you tell me who's Mary? Mary is the one who is brushing the singer hair. Okay. And can you tell me who's John? John? No, they don't talk about John. And who's William? William is the one that's finding something in front of a picture. By the way, who's Jane? Jane. Jane is the mother of the singers. The singers, right? Who's Katie? Who's Katie? Katie. Katie is the singer on the right. Okay, and who's Peter? Peter is... Let me see. Peter is the boy is giving the newspaper to the singer, mom. Okay, uh, what is his name? His name is Peter. All right. Uh, in American English, how do we pronounce his name? I don't know. Uh, that'll be pronounced like Peter, right? Peanut. How do we pronounce it? Peter. Yeah, Peter. That's right. So maybe in the standard um, UK version of English, so maybe pronounced like Peter. Pete. Sometimes, you know, that's what I heard. Uh, I heard like Peter. Sometimes I heard it like this. So let's go on. So, so here it is. So we're going to listen to part number two. Let me just clean up the board. No, I can't wait. Yeah, I just stopped, I just stopped sharing because I... Well, I can't clean it myself. Oh, that's fine. It was already done. Okay, so then here we have another exercise. Mm. This is the next one. So here, this is what we are going to do. This is about a pet. So pretty much we are going to listen we're going to listen to the information. While listening to this, we're going to take some time to analyze what the audio says. Then we are going to complete the exercise or the information you heard from the audio. Did you understand? 
Yes, I can. Amazing. So here we go. Part two. Okay. Listen and look. There is one example. Mum, did you have a pet when you were young? Yes. Why? Because we have to write about pets for homework. Well, when I was about five, my father found a rabbit. And was that your pet, Mum? Okay. Yes, but all the family loved it. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where did your dad find the rabbit? Well, he went camping with my brother one weekend. And he found the rabbit in their tent. And didn't it hop away? No, it didn't. And did your rabbit have a name? Can you remember it? Oh, yes. Sorry, because can you I play the it. audio again? We called it Horace. That's okay. a strange name. Do you want me to repeat it again? Do you want me to replay again? I'm um band. You can go okay, up we'll please play the audio again. E yeah, yeah, absolutely. No problem. Listen carefully. <laughs> so you will use this information to complete this exercise. Okay. Listen and look. Mom's there is band. one example. Okay. okay. That's, that's the first Mom, one. Mom, did you have a pet when you were young? Yes. Why? Because we have to write about pets for homework. Well, when I was about five, my father found a rabbit. And was that your pet, Mum? Yes, but all the family loved it. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where did your dad find the rabbit? Well, he went camping with my brother one weekend and he found the rabbit in their tent. And didn't it hop away? No, it didn't. And did your rabbit have a name? Can you remember oh, it? No. Oh, yes, because I chose it. Me again. We Sorry, called it Horace. Again, That's right. a strange name. Oh. How do you spell it? H bit. Okay. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where did your dad find the rabbit? Well, he went camping with my brother one weekend and he found the rabbit in their tent. And didn't it hop away? No, it didn't. And did your rabbit have a name? Can you remember it? Oh, yes, because I chose it. We called it Horace. That's a strange name. How do you spell it? H-O-R-R-I-S. It was the name of a rabbit in a television programme. Oh, and did you give it grass to eat? Well, it ate grass, but we gave it vegetables. Rabbits like those best. Oh, yes. And what colour was it? It was brown, and it had very long ears and a soft coat. It was very good at jumping. <laughs> and where did it live? In your bedroom? No, in the garden. Rabbits don't like living inside. And did you often play with it? Oh, yes, every day. Well, perhaps one day we could have a rabbit too. Hmm. Now listen to part two again. Where did your dad find the rabbit? Well, he went camping with my brother one weekend and he found the rabbit in their tent. And didn't it hop away? No, it didn't. And did your rabbit have a name? Can you remember it? Oh, yes, because I chose it. We called it Horace. That's a strange name. 
How do you spell it? H O R R I S. It was the name of a rabbit in a television program. Oh, and did you give it grass to eat? Well, it ate grass, but we gave it vegetables. Rabbits like those best. Oh yes, and what colour was it? It was brown, and it had very long ears and a soft coat. It was very good at jumping. <laughs> and where did it live? In your bedroom? No, in the garden. Rabbits don't like living inside. And did you often play with it? Oh yes, every day. Well, perhaps one day we could have a rabbit too. Hmm. That is the end of part two. Okay, so let's see the results. Let me see how good you did it. Ben, I believe in your potential. Number one, mom's pet. What was the pet that she was referring about her dad and her had before? What was mom's pet? What was mom's pet? A rabbit. A rabbit, that's right. And they found this rabbit where? Um, um, they found them in the dad tent when they were camping. Okay. And what is the name? Its name is Horace. Oh, wow. And what is uh, its favorite food? Vegetable. And what is, what is its color? Color is brown. Okay. And where does he live? Oh, no. Mm. Oh, nothing. Any idea? No. In the park? Oh, in the garden. Oh, okay, very good. So, bye. Okay, let me see. Let's continue. Here you got the answers. Very good. I think you did a great job. If you could please clean up the board. So we continue with the next exercise. Give me just one second here. In America, it's so cold. Uh, I think we have a lot of snow here. I'm going to close the windows because it's unsupportable. Give me just one second, man, all right? It's cold. Mm. Do you have snow now in Vietnam? Mm, only one. Is, that, is it cold now in Vietnam? Not that cold. Here it's very cold. Truly cold. Give me just oh, one second. Oh, it's cold. It's cold here. Yeah, here, here in America, it's cold, really cold. Mm -hmm. So let me just move on to the next slide. No, oh, let me clean it myself. Oh, sorry. I, I, I'll give you the chance to clean it up, right? For mm -hmm. fun. Part number three, five questions. Where did Biki and Biki's grandpa get these things? Listen and write. So now you want to be writing, and after that, you will have the privilege to clean up the board. So we're ready. Um, where did Biki's grandpa get these things? Listen and write a letter in each box. There is one example. Look at this. Okay. Listen carefully. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Where must Richard take each thing? You've got a lot of things to take to town today, Richard. Do you enjoy working for the post office? 
Yes, I do. And all these things have to go to different places. This is the largest and heaviest one. Look, it's a new bicycle. I have to take it to the hotel. It's for a boy who lives there. He'll have a lot of fun with it. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. This looks funny. What is it? It's a sledge. Let me see. Where's it going? Oh, yes. 14 Water Street. That's those flats near the boats on the river. I have to take it to a family called White. They live in a flat on the third floor. I'd like to live there. And where must you take this one? Oh, that. I think it's a lamp. And an expensive one, too. Let's see. Where's the address? Oh, here it is. It's for Mr Cave, the artist. He lives above the chemists in Green Street. I think I'll go there first. And that's a strange thing to post. What is it? It's very big. It's a toy dinosaur. It is big, but it's not heavy. The zoo sent it. I have to take it to the school. The children will love it, I'm sure. And what about this one? Where must you take that? Oh, yes, I mustn't forget that one. Look, it says important next to the address. It's a bottle of something for someone that works at the airport. Perhaps it's medicine. The address is difficult to read, but I'll find her office. And what else have you got to do today? Okay. Well, last of all, I have to take this to the hospital. It's for one of the doctors there. It's a postcard from his parents. Okay. I know because I read it. <laughs> hey, they say that in a great time. But now I must put Do all you... these things in oh. my truck. Where are my Do you keys? want me to replay it? Here they are. <laughs> no, I witnessed something weird. A medicine. Part three again. Stop. And another. This looks funny. Okay. What is it? It's a sledge. Two medicine shop. Where's it going? Oh, yes. 14 Water Street. That's those flats near the boats on the river. I have to take it to a family called White. They live in a flat on the third floor. I'd like to live there. And where must you take this one? Oh, that. I think it's a lamp. And an expensive one, too. Let's see. Where's the address? Oh, here it is. It's for Mr Cave, the artist. He lives above the chemists in Green Street. I think I'll go there first. And that's a strange thing to post. What is it? It's very big. It's a toy dinosaur. It's a toy it dinosaur. It is big, but it's not heavy. That's right. The zoo sent it. Mm -hmm. I have to take it to the school. The children will love it, I'm sure. And what about this one? Where must you take that? Oh, yes, I mustn't forget that one. Look, it says important next to the address. It's a bottle of something for someone that works at the airport. Perhaps it's medicine. The address is difficult to read, but I'll find her office. And what else have you got to do today? Well, last of all, I have to take this to the hospital. It's for one of the doctors there. It's a postcard from his parents. I know because I read it. <laughs> They say they're having a great time and they don't want to come home. But now I must put all these things in my truck. 
Where are my keys? Here they are. <laughs> that is the end of part three. Okay, so let's see. Uh, did you manage or uh, did you manage to listen well the audio band? Yes. Okay, here we go. So I want you to tell me. So what were those things? Uh, we're going to have like uh, two different or three different types of conversations now. So the first one. So before we start with this exercise, I just want to recap because obviously the audio has a lot of stand information and I really want you to process this. Can you tell me all of the things that he picks up that he picks picked up a right to put out to put on his truck? Do you remember? Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, okay no, no problem. No problem. My sister always disturbed me. Ready? No, 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 no. Let me oh, open yes? my let me open my Zello. Okay, no problem. You're opening Zalo. Just let me open it. No problem. Take your time. Okay, done. Let's continue. Paper. Okay, so let's go on. I'm gonna clean the screen myself. Okay, so let's continue, Ben. So could you please tell me, okay, could you please, all right? Could you please tell me, can you please tell me what is, um, what, uh, what the speaker, the last speaker said about uh, the things he put on his truck? Uh, what will we do now? No, uh, my question for you is the following. So we're gonna, I'm, just, I'm going to ask you a question and then after that, we are going to proceed with the exercise. But my mm -hmm. first question, my first, uh -oh. my I first- I can't clear the screen. Oh, you cannot see it? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the thing is that everything is gonna be removed let me see. Oh my God! Everything was clean up again. I'm sorry, uh, because of the. Look at there. Uh, do you remember the answers? Yes. If you could write it, please, like, one more time. Oh, no, I 
No, I do not remember the answer. Would you like me to play the audio again? I'm gonna play the audio again, okay? So listen carefully. Part three. Listen okay. and look. Can you there is my one example. Well, can you listen? Where must Richard take each Fine. thing? You've got a lot of things to take. Man, can you listen well? Are you there? Yes, I'm moot. Okay, you're moot. So then I'm going to play it again. That is going to be easier. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Okay. Where must Richard take each thing? You've got a lot of things to take to town today, Richard. Do you enjoy working for the post office? Yes, I do. And all these things have to go to different places. This is the largest and heaviest one. Look, it's a new bicycle. I have to take it to the hotel. It's for a boy who lives there. He'll have a lot of fun with it. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. This looks funny. What is it? It's a sledge. Let me see. Where's it going? Oh, yes. 14 Water Street. That's those flats near the boats on the river. I have to take it to a family called White. They live in a flat on the third floor. I'd like to live there. And where must you take this one? Oh, that. Hey. I think it's a lamp. And an expensive one, too. Yeah. Let's see. Where's the address? You're listening well? Oh, here it is. Yeah. It's for Mr Cave, the artist. Mr Cave, He the lives artist. above the chemists in Green Street. Green Street. I think I'll go there first. Okay. And that's a strange thing to post. What is it? It's very big. It's a toy oh. dinosaur. It is big, but it's not heavy. The zoo sent it. I have to take it to the school. The children will love it, I'm sure. And what about this one? Where must you take that? Oh. Yes, I mustn't forget that one. Look, it says important next to the address. It's a bottle of something for someone that works at the airport. Perhaps it's medicine. The address is difficult to read, but I'll find her office. And what else have you got to do today? Well, last of all, I have to take this to the hospital. It's for one of the doctors there. It's a postcard from his parents. I know because I read it. <laughs> they say they're having a great time and they don't want to come home. But now I must put all these things in my truck. Where are my keys? Here they are. <laughs> now listen to part three again. This okay. looks funny. What is it? It's a sledge. Let me see. Where's it going? Oh, yes. 14 Water Street. That's those flats near the boats on the river. I have to take it to a family called White. They live in a flat on the third floor. I'd like to live there. And where must you take this one? Oh, that. I think it's a lamp. And an expensive one, too. Let's see. Where's the address? Oh, here it is. It's for Mr Cave, the artist. 
He lives above the chemists in Green Street. I think I'll go there first. And that's a strange thing to post. What is it? It's very big. It's a toy dinosaur. It is big, but it's not heavy. The zoo sent it. I have to take it to the school. The children will love it, I'm sure. And what about this one? Where must you take that? Oh, yes, I mustn't forget that one. Look, it says important next to the address. It's a bottle of something for someone that works at the airport. Perhaps it's medicine. The address is difficult to read, but I'll find her office. And what else have you got to do today? Well, last of all, I have to take this to the hospital. It's for one of the doctors there. It's a postcard from his parents. I know because I read it. <laughs> they say they're having a great time and they don't want to come home. But now I must put all these things in my truck. Where are my keys? Here they are. <laughs> That okay. is the end of part three. Okay. So, let me see, Ben. Okay, what's letter H? Toy, toy dinosaur. What matches with this one? The school. Okay. And what about lamp? A lamp? Uh, the um, message. Okay, and what about the the sledge? Hmm? What about the sledge? The sledge, sledge goes to the house to a family that live on the third floor. Of, okay. The apartment. And what about the bicycle? The bicycle. It goes to the medicine shop. Okay, and That's what about? Okay, and what about? Let me see. Uh, some medi some medicines. Where can I? Where can 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 I get that? From the hospital. Okay, and let me see. What about a postcard? Where can I get that? The postcard at the airport. Okay. Okay, right. so let's, very good. You did it well. Now I give you the opportunity to clean up. So let's go to part number four as Sam is running. So we'll complete this exercise, all right? Our part number four. Part number four works the following. So, part number four uh, is going to be this way. It's going to be this way, part four. Five questions, then listen and think the box, and there is an example. Let me show you. You want to use the correct answer based on the images. Here we go. Part four. Listen okay. and look. There is one example. Which lesson did David like best at school today? Hello, David. Did you have a good day at school? Yes, thanks, Mum. Maths was difficult, but I enjoyed art today. What did you do? He brought in some leaves from the playground and painted them. It was my best lesson today. And what about your hockey lesson? We couldn't have it because our teacher was ill. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which program does David want to watch on TV? Can I watch television in half an hour? Okay. 
Which program do you want to see? The one about the circus again? Not that one. It's a program about storms. We're learning about them at school. All right. And I must remember, there's tennis at seven o'clock. I want to watch that. Two. Where's David's dog? Where's the dog? Perhaps he's outside under the trees, David. Well, I didn't see him there, and I've looked in the living room and under your car. Well, call his name. Spot. Oh, there he is. You were right. He was in the garden. Three. What must David tidy? Before you watch television, you need to tidy your things, David. Oh, not again! I hate tidying my clothes. I didn't mean your clothes. I meant your computer and school books. Oh, okay. I'll do it in a minute. Can I have something to eat first? No. Put that drink down and go and do it now. Four. What does David want to eat now? I've done it. It's all tidy now. Good. Would you like a sandwich and some fruit now? Can I just have a piece of cake and some more milk? Well, all right. But we've got pizza for dinner, so don't eat too much. Okay. Five. Where's David's comic now? And can you see my comic, Mum? It was on top of the fridge this morning. It's on the stairs. Thanks. There's a good story in it about living on another planet. Well, let's sit down on the sofa and read it together. Then you can watch your program. Okay. Now listen to part four again. One. Which program does David want to watch on TV? Can I watch television in half an hour? Which program do you want to see? The one about the circus again? Not that one. It's a program about storms. We're learning about them at school. All right. And I must remember, there's tennis at seven o'clock. I want to watch that. Two. Where's David's dog? Where's the dog? Perhaps he's outside under the trees, David. Well, I didn't see him there, and I've looked in the living room and under your car. Well, call his name. Spot. Oh, there he is. You were right. He was in the garden. Three. What must David tidy? Before you watch television, you need to tidy your things, David. Oh, not again! I hate tidying my clothes. I didn't mean your clothes. I meant your computer and school books. Oh, okay. I'll do it in a minute. Can I have something to eat first? No. Put that drink down and go and do it now. Uh, we're not changing. What the does David on. want to eat now? Okay. I've done it. It's all tidy now. Good. Would you like a sandwich and some? Ben, are you listening well? I can't. They're not changing the screen. Okay. So, so. No problem. Uh, the thing is that if I do now, okay. Anyways, can you please note down the answers you have? I clear it? Yeah, because I'm gonna change the screen. That's right. What's happening is that it's gonna happen the same like before. Do you remember what happens before that your answers get removed? Mm. That is the reason I didn't do it. And I gave you the opportunity to listen first. You ready? Let me know. Okay.
América. Ok. Ok. So let's continue. Which was Katie's favorite actor? Oh. Maybe the computer? Sorry? Maybe the computer? Okay. Then, um, okay, so look at there. Where did Katie sit in the, in the theater? Any idea? No. I'm gonna reply to you so you can listen well. Part four, listen and look. There is one example. Which lesson did David like best at school today? Hello, David. Did you have a good day at school? Yes, thanks, Mum. Maths was difficult, but I enjoyed art today. What did you say before? Uh, where did Katie sit in the, in the theater? Did you say, I'm sorry? No. Okay, let me play it for you. Give the boring part, please. He brought in some leaves from the playground and painted them. It was my best lesson today. And what about your hockey lesson? We couldn't have it because our teacher was ill. Okay. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One, which program does David want to watch on TV? Can I watch television in half an hour? Which program do you want to see? The one about the circus again? Not that one. It's a program about storms. We're learning about them at school. All right. And I must remember, there's tennis at 7 o'clock. I want to watch that. Two, where's David's dog? Where's the dog? Perhaps he's outside under the trees, David. Well, I didn't see him there, and I've looked in the living room and under your car. Well, call his name. Spot? Oh, there he is. You were right. He was in the garden. Three, what must David tidy? Before you watch television, you need to tidy your things, David. Oh, not again. I hate tidying my clothes. I didn't mean your clothes. I meant your computer and school books. Oh, OK. I'll do it in a minute. Can I have something to eat first? No. Put that drink down and go and do it now. Four. What does David want to eat now? I've done it. It's all tidy now. Good. Would you like a sandwich and some fruit now? Can I just have a piece of cake and some more milk? Well, all right. But we've got pizza for dinner. So don't eat too much. Okay. Five. Where's David's comic now? And can you see my comic, Mum? It was on top of the fridge this morning. It's on the stairs. Thanks. There's a good story in it about living on another planet. Well, let's sit down on the sofa and read it together. Then you can watch your program. Okay. Now listen to part four again. 
One. Which program does David want to watch on TV? Can I watch television in half an hour? Which program do you want to see? The okay, one about yeah. the circus again? Not that one. It's a program about storms. We're learning about them at school. All right. And I must remember, there's tennis at seven o'clock. I want to watch that. Okay. Two. Where's David's dog? Where's the dog? Perhaps he's outside under the trees, David. Well, I didn't see him there, and I've looked in the living room and under your car. Well, call his name. Spot. Oh. There he is. You were right. He was in the garden. Three. What must David tidy? Before you watch television, you need to tidy your things, David. Oh, not again. I hate tidying my clothes. I didn't mean your clothes. I meant your computer and school books. Oh, okay. I'll do it in a minute. Can I have something to eat first? No. Put that drink down and go and do it now. Okay. What is he gonna drink? Four. What does David want to eat now? Oh, what is? I've done it. It's all tidy oh. now. Good. Would you like a sandwich and some fruit now? Can I just have a piece of cake and some more milk? Well, all right. What is But we've gonna... got pizza for dinner. So don't eat too much. Okay. You're gonna have the milk and some cake. Five. Okay. Where's David's comic now? And can you see my comic, Mum? Where's David? The It comic? was on top of the fridge this morning. It's on the stairs. Thanks. There's a good it? story in it about living on another planet. Well, let's sit down on the well, sofa where are and the read comics? it together. Then you can watch your program. Okay. Uh, Ben. That is the end of part four. Where are the comics? The comics is under the sofa. No, under the pillow on the sofa. And the stirrups, and also under the sofa, under the pillow of the sofa. That's right. So Ben, we're gonna stop it right here. So what I'm want, what I want you to do as a homework. We need to study right different types of foods, like you know, not like the simple ones, you know, but uh, different types of foods of some other country, or some other countries, all right. And um, so the thing is that here uh, we're gonna deal with this one, all right. Uh, then thank you very much. I'm gonna ask you questions about different types of foods of different countries. That'll be your homework. Thank you so much for being present in the class and see you in the next one. Goodbye, Ben. Okay, goodbye, teacher. Have a fantastic rest of the evening. See you. Okay. Bye.